The Cosrx Advance 96 Mucin Fluorescence and the 92 All in One Cream are two of the most popular Korean skincare products. They're holy grails for so many people and are so popular on internet that it feels like everyone loves them. But is that true? I don't think it's the same for everyone because some people out there hate these products. And we're gonna know why. So the Cosrx Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream is a lightweight cream that contains 92% snail secretion filtrate. Although there might be some tricks uh, to this percentage claim as explained by Odile Monod. I'll put her video link in the description box below if you want to check that out. Anyway, brands claim that this ingredient reduces signs of aging, soothes irritated skin and replenishes moisture. It's full of antioxidants, peptides and antimicrobial compounds. I've already explained in details what this ingredient can do in my Cosrx Nail 96 Mucin Power Essence review. You can check that out here. This moisturizer is gentle, lightweight, spreadable, and super hydrating. So what's there not to love? And there are a few studies which have shown the efficacy and benefits of snail mucin. So it's almost impossible to go wrong with this ingredient, right? Wrong. The texture and consistency of the product is something unique. It has a slimy, sticky consistency which is not uh, sticky when you touch or apply. The tub or container of the product is not something that I'm very happy with or in love with and we will talk about the usage later. Some users complain about experiencing breakouts after using snail mucin, uh, the essence or the cream. Among them, some users don't know why it didn't work for them and there's some users who try to find the reasons behind it. For example, some assumed that their allergies like rhinitis or asthma were the reason behind the reaction. Now, is that right? We don't know for sure. Firstly, let's accept this reality that people can be allergic or sensitive to anything in this world. Yes, there is a very rare condition known as aquagenic urticaria where skin contact with water causes itchy, red hives or swelling. So if something simple like water can cause you allergy, anything can cause you allergy. Same in skincare, so it's not just nail mucin. So what could be done in such case? Must do patch days before using on the whole face. Secondly, many complaints about experiencing white hairs after using the moisturizer. In this case, first make sure that you're using a chemical exfoliator in your skincare routine. And if you're already using a chemical exfoliator, try to reduce the amount of the product you're using. Third complaint is that the product is sitting on top of my skin, it's not getting absorbed. Then again, apply it in light layer and give it five minutes to get it absorbed into your skin. Now, these are just some possible scenarios and suggestions. The thing is that researching an ingredient takes time, a long period of time, a lot of time. On top of that, funding for research on skincare ingredients is not enough. So it's not easy to find whom exactly an ingredient will not be suitable for. The reason behind snail mucin's popularity is that it works for a lot of people. It worked for me, it worked for all the people I knew have used it, but like any other ingredient, it will not work for everyone. However, by no means your experience is useless. If it didn't suit you, it's fine. Some other ingredients may do wonders for you. It's just that don't hate on a product if it didn't suit you. Let's move on and try another one. If you like this video and you think that it was helpful for you, give it a like and comment below to let me know. And if you want such a discussion on another product, do let me know in the comment section below as well. See you in the next video. Till then, happy skincare!